subscribe, support, and stay positive. Hey folks, Tommy NC2010 back here again, coming here to spread the words of positivity and love and peace and joy. And just to fill the void with entertainment and the dullness of life sometimes that is the gauze that the the nasty gauze that nasty taste that's in your mouth sometimes where you just you have to get a drink of water because you know it's just like you get that white stuff in the corner of your mouth because you're really thirsty and uh, so I don't know why I just opened up with that but uh, you know you just came across with the intro subscribe support stay positive and you know it's just Oh, <laughs> but you know, it's just the uh, the idea of just positivity and entertainment and filling the love, filling the entertainment, and going to new routes to to understand the voids of positivity and entertainment. And that we all have, a, all of us are our own people. All, all of us look differently. All of us have different looks and different ways of doing things. And there, you know, there's you know, there's people with different colors. You know, white, black, Latino, Latina, and all of us are different. That doesn't make us. That doesn't diminish one person because they look different. You know, just because you have this opinion doesn't mean that you should hate on that person because of their anonymity. Now, um, now some of you are probably going to lash at me and be like, Well, why did you say that stuff about Vince McMahon and, you know, uh, New Day? Well, that's, uh, you know, that's, a, that's just a promo that really is just like I know I'm not in the WWE but the thing is that it's just it's I don't mean those things when I say them I I kind of think Vince McMahon I kind of do look up to Vince McMahon but you know I don't agree with his the way he does business sometimes and the way he's done wrestlers at times but you know it's uh, he's given people careers and launched humongous careers and so you know when I do a promo, I don't mean it. Um, I don't like Brock Lesnar. Um, I don't know the real man Brock Lesnar, but I know the character of Brock Lesnar, and I don't like him because he's a mercenary. Now, I got on, yes, I got on the wrestling. I know. Ah! Sorry, I'm just talking about something that's on my mind and just going through the expression activities of just everything that rolls in my head, you know, and just... Um, you know, I've really thought about this. Um, I'm going to save my money up. Um, I'm going to get me a, a title belt, a World Heavyweight MTV's made Comedy Central's World Heavyweight Championship belt. And then, I think, well, after that, I'm going to work on maybe trying to go to another convention. Maybe Playlist Live, I don't know. Um, whatever sparks my interest. If I could uh, get with a couple YouTubers and do something like that, I would like to do a collaboration like that. But as for everything else, um, I said a long time ago, you know, with uh, Tommy Talks, I said that I was going to pull the plug on it. Just to let you know, I'm not going to pull the plug on it. You know, um, it's, um, it's... I'll tell you what, it's pretty stressful to run a show like that. And I could honestly just be, that's a Sunday. That's a time for relaxing. You don't have to do anything. You just sit and relax. But I choose to do it. I choose to get up and make videos. And I want to say, I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to keep making Tommy Talks episodes. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep doing what I do every single night, I'm going to perform every night, lace my boots up, lace up my wingtips, 
go out, do a show, and inspire the world with my creativity. And yes, I do have a disability. And yes, I do have a tad bit of autism. But I don't even be told that. Honestly, really, I don't. And you guys preaching that, the negative people preaching that in the chat, I don't care. I know what I am. I know I have a learning disability. I know that I have, a, I'm not perfect, I'm a human being. I'm being real with you right now. So, you know, the thing is that I'm here, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat and uh, gonna enjoy my day. I thought I'd do this video just talking to you guys and uh, expressing myself and just going with the flow and just feeling the uh, the, I, the, the, uh, the ways of just doing things and just to feel the copacetic-ness and um, to uh, see the point. And uh, I'm just going to say this. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, what happened to J-Rock, Tommy? What happened to J-Rock? All I'm going to say about that is uh, I just didn't want to work with him anymore. And uh, that's all I have to say about that is, uh, you know, I just didn't feel like working with him anymore. So that's my what I have to say about him. And otherwise, um, I might extend this video, make it into a vlog, a day vlog, but uh, I'll see where it goes. So folks, I'll catch you a bit later. Bye. Hey folks, I was stating something and I just want to define something for you that I was just thinking about. Yes, I have a disability. Yes, I do have a tad bit of autism, but I do not let it define me. You know that? I go above and beyond my disability and I show people another side of me. I don't just base myself because of my disability. I go higher than that. Excuse me, sir. Sir. How can I help you today? All right, just uh, seeing if you need any help, sir. I saw you were having some trouble, technical troubles there. I'm all set, thank you. Oh, you have a nice day. You too, now. You too. You see, yeah. One thing about it is, is when you see somebody that is in ter has uh, technical troubles, always ask. If they always lend a helping hand. Yeah, you see, as I was walking, I was talking about that about not letting autism define me. I um, I decided to go help that man. See if he needed any help. And to um, express the abilities and um, to uh, show that do, do a good deed and good things will happen for you. Even though I didn't do a good deed, I just asked the guy if he needed any help you know, it just shows you how far you can go in this world just by doing good deeds and not asking for anything. Um, you know, um, is there anything wrong with taking money if somebody says, it puts it in your hand and they say, here, take it. There's nothing wrong with that. Just don't ask for it. Don't ask for money. Don't ask for money for doing good deeds, honestly. Just don't. And, um, you know, there, there's no such thing as paying somebody back for a gift, okay? No such thing. But um, just remember, folks, to stay positive. And uh, I'm going to do another segment at some point. I'll catch you later. Bye. Hey guys, um, so I went back with Hamza and I didn't film any footage, I'm sorry. We were just looking at some stuff for the Food Dude Review Crew. 
and some others talk about some other stuff and uh so just want to say that uh everything's going well and uh you know just want to say I hope everything everybody uh stays positive and uh you know I I'm happy to make videos I'm happy to meet uh, fans. I'm happy to meet the actual fans that support me and I'm happy to talk to the patrons that are there also and I want to say that I don't tr I don't think differently of any of, of my of my fans that donate money to me like I, I treat my patrons as well as my fans I, I you guys are on an equal level I don't put my patrons any higher um, you know, I see you all as my fans in my eyes. And, uh, I want to say thank you to everybody out there. And, uh, you know, shout outs to everybody. Um, so, you know, that's just a bunch of people, shout outs. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And, uh, as, as I said this a million times, I'm Tommy NC2010. I'm keeping you on the end side. Fact. Thank you for enjoying this day vlog. Catch you later, folks. As always, folks, give it up for the world heavyweight vlogger champion of the world, Chris Perillo. Take it away, Chris. Hello, world. I'm Chris Perillo, and I'm also the world heavyweight vlogger champion, according to this belt. So that makes it official. Thank you, Tommy NC2010, for giving this to me. I really appreciate your support. And Tommy NC2010 is one of those people that you never really expect to meet. But once you meet him, you realize that he is probably one of the more genuine people you'll likely ever meet. And I'm speaking from the heart when I say that. Tommy NC2010 is the man. You, Hollywood, you should absolutely subscribe to Tommy, if only because he's a real human being. And he's the type of person that I would want to meet. Someone who's really real, himself, living life out loud. And he's keeping you on the inside facts.